moi, kau faia kokotoa pe. I hope you have all had fun and enjoyed celebrating Tongan Language Week this week. I have definitely enjoyed celebrating Tongan Language Week, especially as a Tongan. It has really helped me to reconnect with my culture and I've actually learned more than I expected to learn. And I hope you have all learned something too. So today's video is gonna be a bit different to what I expected. Here's what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you our office and, and where I work and I wanna show you actually how, what my culture looks like for me and some of the things I do to remember and embrace and celebrate my culture every day. So we're here at our office, our Lalang office is here in East Tamaki. If you're ever in East Tamaki, come and say hi to us. So today I'll talk about some of the things in my office that I have that remind me of my culture and who I am. And I'll also talk about a few customs that are important to Tongan people. Come check it out. Part of our culture is, actually our culture is becomes who we are and our identity. So something that I know is that I try and find lots of different ways to remember who I am as a Tongan and to celebrate my culture. So one thing that I that's really important to Tongans are some of the, the garments that we hold that are really valuable to us, such as our Ta'ovala. So you'll see us wear our Ta'ovala at special occasions, maybe birthdays, church, celebrations. Sometimes if we're giving a really important presentation or saying an important speech, we will make sure we're wearing a Ta'ovala. So I have different types of Ta'ovalas. This is actually just a kind of a Ta'ovala that I leave with me at work, uh, given to me by my mum. And so this is my Ta'ovala that I'm wearing. So part of being Tongan means if I'm ever invited to something, I have a bit of a little wardrobe here at, at work. Um, I'll have different items that I will keep at work that I can change to. So you saw a video last week of someone sharing about the Tongan gear gear. So I have about two or three gear gears here that I keep at work that I can wear. So this is one of my gear gears and you can see that it is actually made from some of the coconut shell. Um, so this is a gear gear that I keep here at work and this is one of my taobalas at work. So something the other day you remember that we had Akoteo Katoka Kala share about Tongan Kahoa, Kahoa Hei Lala. So I, just like you, have been learning too. And this week I had an opportunity to learn from the um, Akoteo Katoka Kala ladies and I made my own Kahoa. So this is my first time. Normally my mum actually makes my Kahoa for me, but I made my first Kahoa. So I'm just learning just like you. And I think that's a really important point with our culture is that we're, we're always learning and not ashamed to learn whether we know one word in our culture or 10, we're always learning different things about our own culture. So speaking of the kahoa, this is a kahoa that was given to me by my mother. So as you can see, it does have some hei lala on it. Uh, it is artificial, but it reminds me of my mum and my mum made this for me. So I try and wear it to special occasions too. The next thing I wanted to talk about is our ngato. So as you know, our ngato is really important to us. I'll show you some of the ngato that we have here at our work, but this ngato I've put up here on the wall, it is actually a Fijian ngato, but it was gifted to me from my mum. The patterns all tell a story, and every time I look at the ngato, it always reminds me of my mum. So that's a Tongan custom that's really important to us is our ngatos or our tapa cloth. It, we give it as gifts. You know, sometimes you go to a birthday party and you get presents. Well, as Tongans, we love to gift some of our koloa or our treasure, and one of them is our ngato. So we use our ngato as gifts. We use it as decoration. So I'll show you uh, some of the other ngato that we have here that we use as a decoration too. Malolele. So something that's really important to Tongans and is a custom to us is our ngato. So I have a ngato here at work. We actually had a really important person come and visit us. So we decorated our office and we've left some of that decoration here. So at work, I have a ngato here. The Tonga ngato is really important to Tongan people. We give it as gifts, at celebrations, at birthdays, at funerals. Um, every ngato has a story behind who made it. It takes more than one person to make a ngato. So I've kept my, even though this, this, the visitor that visited us came months ago, I've kept the ngato here at my work because it reminds me of who I am. Another important 
uh, custom that we have is around our fala, so you can see the fala here. So the fala, like the ngatu, like many of our Tongan um, customary items, are made by the whole village. So with this fala, the fala is made out of this uh, pan danus leaves, and it takes a long time to create the different strands, to prepare them, um, to weave them as a village. So this fala I keep here too, to remind me of who I am. So fala is really important to Tongans. Like the ngatu, we gift falas. Sometimes you'll see the fala in people's, um, in maybe like a lot of which is a living room. Um, and so fala is really important to us too. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about that's important to not just Tongans but actually a lot of cultures is our names. Our names are a very valuable part of who we are and our identity and I know that in Tongan cultures names are very very important and hold a lot of value. Now every name has a story and I'd love to encourage you in this Tongan Language Week to find out what does your name mean is there a story behind your name and the, the value and the meaning of your name? So my name, I have a very Tongan name. My full name is Lesieli Matamana Finau Moala is my maiden last name and then Oliver is my married last name. So most of my life growing up, I have heard my name mispronounced so many times, but I've never been offended by it or hurt because I understand the value and the meaning of my name. So my name was gifted to me by my fahu and her name was Lesieli Matamoana Finau. And I feel very blessed to be named after my fahu. And so my fahu or a fahu in Tongan culture is very, very important. It is normally your father's older sister. So I feel very blessed to be named after my fahu. And so I would encourage you this Tongan Language Week to find out what is the meaning of your name? Is there a story of your name? Because your name becomes who you are. And I feel very proud to know who or where my name comes from. Malo Apito, thank you everyone for joining us this week for Tongan Language Week and celebrating Tongan culture. Our value for today to end Tongan Language Week is Fe Vahe Vahe Aki, which means to share with one another. And this is a very important value in Tongan culture. Part of our custom is sharing with one another, our family, our friends, our village, our community. And I would encourage you today to remember and find ways to share with one another. It has been awesome celebrating Tongan Language Week with you. Hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. Before, bye.